After cleaning and sizing, the barley is ready for malting. The first major malting step is called steeping. This is the most critical step of the malting process. During steeping, barley is soaked in water, which initiates the growth process. It is very important to remove dirt and other impurities from the grain at the start of the steeping. Dust, various microorganisms and foreign materials are washed away from the grain by overflowing extra steep water. The initial water leaches some of the husk components that may impede germination. Barley agitation at the start of steeping also helps with grain cleaning. The steeping process consists of several alternating wet cycles where the grain is submerged under water and dry cycles, also known as air rest periods, where the water is drained from the grain. The exact duration of each wet and dry cycle and the temperatures applied are customized for each barley variety and crop year depending on the water sensitivity, protein content and other important parameters of the grain. Next, we can see an example of a typical steeping schedule. Here we have three wet cycles and two air rest periods in between. Typical temperatures applied are anywhere between 12 and 20 degrees Celsius or 54 and 68 degrees Fahrenheit and the duration can be anywhere between 26 and 50 hours. Adequate supply of water and oxygen, as well as the removal of CO2, is critical for good water uptake and even moisture distribution throughout the barley kernel to achieve homogeneous malt modification. It is therefore important to provide adequate dissolved oxygen supply during wet cycles by bubbling compressed air through steep water and to remove CO2 from the steep tank during the air rest periods. A lack of oxygen at any stage will stop the growth and enzyme production. By the end of the steeping process, more than 95% of the barley kernels should show clear signs of chitting. At that stage, the barley is ready to be transferred to germination vessel.